Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today we're going to do another rival toaster oven recipe. And it's going to be about tilapia. Ta-da! And this is a tray that comes with the toaster oven. So I'm going to take butter spray and just spray it. And I have flour here, two eggs, and uh, seasoned breadcrumbs. Now we're going to mix up the eggs. Now we're going to go from flour to eggs to breadcrumbs and then we're going to cook them in the toaster oven. Okay, we're going to start by taking some seasoned salt and season salt the fish to give it added flavor and we're going to give it a crack of pepper on both sides and here we've got some garlic salt we're going to take the garlic salt and add it to the white fl flour we're going to add it a little bit to the eggs and we're going to add it to the breadcrumbs to give it some more flavor. So I'm going to take a dry clean spoon and mix that up. There. I'm going to mix it up over here. And then we're going to take a fork and mix it up here. And that's going to take too long with a fork. So I ain't going to do it. I'm going to get a wire whisk. and do it. What we're trying to do is fish doesn't have a lot of flavor so what we're doing is an experiment we are playing mad scientists to add flavor upon layer of flavor upon layer of flavor to the fish. Alright and we're gonna rub that in there and then we're going to season salt the other side of the tilapia and then we're going to pepper it. All right, now we've got that to begin the flavoring. We're going to flour both sides of the fish. Then we're going to dip it in egg, making sure the flour helps the egg to stick. Good, and then we're going to breadcrumb it with the breadcrumbs. And don't use fresh garlic with it because it just won't work good. And then we're going to put the fish on there. So keep one hand for cleanness and one hand for stickiness. So we're going to... Well, we just put the stickiness right on the seasoned salt. We're going to do that. Season salt and the pepper. There we go. And now we're going to take our sticky hand and do it again. And we're going to flavor. We want flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. <coughs> we want the breadcrumbs to totally cover it. And there we go. And now we're going to put, we've got two fish down. Now we're going to do the last two. Got to do this with every fish. I'm covering that on both sides of this fish. Now I'm turning it over last two fish and covering it again now if you want to use white salt or sea salt feel free to do so there we will go. affect the flavor and so 
We've got the salt done and the pepper done. We're all done with that. Now we're going to take and cover Kate, our last four fishies that swim in the sea. Making sure I'm thoroughly coating the fish. Now we've got the last little one. And we already salt and peppered this. I want to I made too much mix because I wanted you to see really good on YouTube what I was doing. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to cook that in the toaster oven. Right, my hands are clean. I'm a, I'm a frequent hand washer. I really, truly am. All right, we've got the toaster oven plugged in. I see David has done that. We're gonna click stay on, and we're gonna cook it on broil. There. All right, we're gonna broil it. Three to four minutes on one side, then we're gonna check it, see if it needs to be turned over. Let's bake it. We'll just bake it and then um, check it in three to four minutes, see if it's done, see when it's done. After three minutes, I pulled it out, took that spatula, turned over the fish, and sprayed with the butter spray and then I put it back in the oven on toast 450 so that way it's going to cook another few minutes to get done on the other side so see you when it's finished take one piece of fish oh. I'm going to take one piece of fish out and I'm going to put this back in the toaster oven for us to taste test it and we do have Turn that off and get a piece of fish. And we do have tartar sauce. Well, if we can want tartar sauce, I'm gonna get a fork and taste test it and let David taste test it as well. I'm going to taste test it without tartar sauce and with tartar sauce. And let's see how our first piece of tilapia is half. See how it's done? Look at that. See how beautiful that is? And just to be on the safe, just to be on the safe, see how that's got a beautiful crust on it? Whoops. Been a while since I've opened a new tartar sauce, found out you Peel and lift. Put a tartar sauce on the side. So we can try it without tartar sauce and with tartar sauce. Alright. I'll bit of a bit of a go and then David will. Mmm. Doesn't really need tartar sauce. But let's see if tartar sauce makes any difference. Maybe it's better without the tartar sauce. It's so good and tender. Let David take a test and give me his opinion for it. I actually love this recipe with the garlic and everything. All right. Put this bad boy in half. Mm -hmm. 
How do you like it? With the salt and the pepper and the garlic. Davy, there's tartar sauce right there. There's tartar sauce and there's, and there's tartar saucing. I'm drowning it. All right, now let's with, uh, start with a little bunch of tartar sauce. Okay. Now I'll try it with the I'll try it with the dab of tartar sauce. Okay. Honestly, I think I think this one should go anyway. Now I'll try it with a little bit <laughs> of tartar sauce. I should go any way you want it with a bunch of tartar sauce, like I did at the beginning. It kind of complemented the water tartar sauce, actually. And then with lightly tartar sauce, it works that way. And then without tartar sauce, it works that way, too. I'm eating this. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you recommend it? Yeah. I'd say it works. Okay, there it is. A brand new way to make fish in your toaster oven. Let's recap what we did in the toaster oven. I did, you saw me prep the fish. I put the toaster oven on broil and let it stay on about three to five minutes. Then I brought it out, turned the fish over, sprayed with the butter spray, put it back in for another three to five minutes, and then checked on it periodically and sprayed it. So, and you gotta remember that fish was frozen too so there there you have it a delicious and new way to make tilapia in your rival toaster oven hope you enjoy it feel free to share feel free to subscribe we love you you mean everything for it. give this a try it was really good even without tartar sauce and i usually don't like fish without tartar sauce the breading on it was so good with the garlic and the salt and pepper and everything so Feel free to share, feel free to subscribe. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours. Thank you for watching. Bye everybody.